Hello. I return to you with the final episode of Milsharp Warrior. I've gone over most common battle garb and necessities for war fighting on a budget in not so great detail, but detail nonetheless. And this one will be, I suppose, my magnum opus. Boots. The most important thing in your entire kit. Some will tell you it's the chest rig, it's the gun, it's the headgear, none of those. If you're like me, and you ain't kicking doors, and you're not in Iraq, you don't need... You can have all of these and they'll help you. You will need boots. Boots can cover everything. They can. You can walk through broken glass. You can step on nails. You can step on, like, hazardous objects, and you'll be fine. Steel-toed are the best. Second best is hobnail. My sapogies, the ones in the thumbnail, are hobnail. Now, here's the thing with sapogies. Since they are more or less meant to be marching boots and nothing more, you're not really meant to wear them a lot. Especially with socks. The Russians basically would wrap their feet in cloth, so to say. And, um, well, I don't do that. I just wear thick socks and let my feet suffer for it. But here's what you're going to have to do if you get a sapogies. Make sure they fit your thigh, or not your thighs, your calves. Because if they don't fit your calves, you're not going to be able to wear them. I ordered a pair, didn't fit my calves at all, but they would have fit my feet perfectly fine. I could have had them cut down, but I just didn't. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to shoot for ones that are roughly two, two sizes too big for your uh, feet. That way you can get your calves through them. That, or you can just order ones your size and just cut off the top. But you lose out on a lot of that waterproof advantage. Because sapogies are tall fully pulled up they go roughly right below my knee and I'm 5'10 which is really good so they're completely they're also completely waterproof I've completely submerged myself in my pond before trying to walk around and my feet got cold but not wet they're perfect they're perfect for waterproofing but you're, what what you're gonna want to do is because these things have shit ass soles. And when I mean shit ass, I mean they're. It is sawdust stamped and glued into, the, into a sole. It, they're horrible. So get yourself some good soles, put them in, and you're golden. Because I can't. Because my distance is rather limited with these things, because of the sole situation. I can't go as far as I usually would unless I want to pick up from a friend. So that's like the only downside to them is, is that they're going to tank your ability to keep going. There are others. I don't know as many of them. And they're not as tall as, as the Sapogis and they're not as waterproof. For me, these things are perfect because I hate to say it, but Massachusetts, I don't really have a lot of places to go. My area of operation is rather small because wilderness out here is rather small. So, womp womp. But what I do love is, is that I can traverse all the fucking rivers I want with these things and just keep trucking. So, get your hands on these. You can get them off of eBay roughly for 80 bucks. Get an insole, um, and just, please, for the love of God, get a fucking insole. These are hobnail, meaning there's a steel plate with nails that are then... The nails are like this, then they bend. Because the steel plate bends them. So you're not going to have to worry about basically anything. Other than stuff falling on them because they're not steel-toed. Get them steel-toed, 
like insert something to get them steel toed and you have the perfect shoe along with good insoles. But other than that, this will be my final uh, Milserp Warrior because I'm trying to get my hands on a car. There will be more, um, there will be more like kit overviews and whatnot later uh, once stuff ships in sometime around December. But after that, you're not going to see much of anything because I'm going to, I'm putting all my money away for that car. But uh, yeah, God bless gentlemen and keep the faith. Goodbye.